everyone, today we're going to be basing a gene stealer cultist. Um, if you look at the bases as they are, it's pretty plain. So we're going to try and do an abandoned highway base. What you're going to need is some pieces of cork. Some old cork floor tiles will do just the trick. And then broken up as you want them. Some good old fashioned PVA glue. Some nice fine gritted stand. Um, anything that you can use would be good and an old ruined paintbrush and I quite like the army painter woodland tuft first thing we want to do is position all the pieces of cork that you want on your base making sure you get the desired effect then cover your base in the PVA making sure that you get the whole base covered the idea being is that you're then going to attach the sand and also the cork as well but you want to make sure that it doesn't fall off You can manipulate it for quite a while, which is quite good. That's why the, one of the reasons why I use PVA. Next, get your sand and dunk your base in. I quite like using a little pot because it's nice and clean and tidy. And then give it a nice shake and then let it dry for a while. After about an hour or so, take him out, get rid of any excess sand, and he's ready for undercoating. So I undercoat him using a Chaos Black spray primer and then straight into cold grey for the first dry brush. So using a dry brush we want to make sure we're picking up all the extra edges. Any of the raised areas will be picked up by the brushing action. Once you've gone around a couple of times making sure that you've caught everything just make sure you're happy with it. The idea is to make it look like an old concrete slab. Next up we're going to wolf grey, again using a dry brush, but we're just picking up the edges of the concrete slab this time. So we just want to get it anywhere that the light would catch anything where it would be a breakage in the concrete, we just want to make it a little bit lighter than the previous grey. It helps to get, add to realism. Once you're happy, can you go around a couple of times, you can build up more and more and brighter if you wanted to. Next up, you can use a strong tone wash that's watered down. We want to get all the sand on the floor of the base. The idea being to make it look a little bit more like dirt. So again, rather than just the concrete grey, we want a bit of dirt mixed in there as well. You've got to leave this to dry for at least a couple of hours. Then using the bone white, we're going to give it another dry brush on top of the sand, just to give it a bit more of a dusty effect. This helps again with the realism, making it pop a bit more. Next up we're going to use medium yellow and we're going to paint some lines like you would see on a highway or a motorway. Um, you could use yellow or you could use white, uh, depends what you want to do. With my gene stealers I've used a, a mix of both, um, but this time I'm going to show you how to do the, the medium yellow. Again trying to keep it nice and straight and again even distance in between the lines. Some people might find it easier to do this with an airbrush, but I, I prefer just to quickly paint them on. At this point here we're going to add a little tuft of grass, so we're using the, the woodland tuft, bit spot of PVA. The reason we like using PVA is that we can manipulate it and get it to where we want before it dries too quickly. And it allows you to get it perfect without setting almost instantly like super glue. It also doesn't leave the foggy effect that you can get with some super glues. Going back in again with medium yellow and we're going to do a second layer on top of the yellow just to really define him. We want him to really pop against the grey granite. And then moon yellow, we're just going to do it very vibrant over the top again. And it's going to make it really pop out. Now 
then to paint the rim of the base I use a primer matte black um, just because again it, it is matte so it doesn't shine as much but also it covers really well so again just make sure you're careful not to go on any of the details that you've done so far Once you're done, set them down and let them dry. There we go, this is the finished article. So the Gene Steel Occultist on top of his base. Really pleased with the result. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. So it's a nice easy base to get started with, but it's got quite an effective look to it. It's one of the reasons why I quite like doing it. Thank you very much guys, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope this is very informative. Um, we're hoping to do many more videos coming up with the hobby and we hope to see you again soon please like and subscribe down below and we'll see you soon